Hi everyone, this is Charles Jager with Metal. It's going to be a quick introduction to Metal Skybox Studio version 2. It features lots of 360 video solutions and edit options. This will allow you to easily add in text and graphics to your 360 videos, as well as object removal, 360 tracking, stabilization, and much more. So let's quickly take a look at how to get started in After Effects. Alright, now that we're inside of After Effects, I'm just going to go ahead and select my 360 footage and just add it to a new composition. And after you have Skybox Studio version 2 installed, the first thing we're going to want to do is run the Skybox Composer script. So I'm just going to come up here to Window, and you're going to see Skybox Composer. I'll click that. And that's going to open up this dockable panel here that has the Skybox Composer interface. So if I want to dock that, I can just drag it over and dock it. And that's going to keep the Skybox Composer locked here in our interface. So the first thing I want to do is add in some text on my 360 video. So I'm going to select Add a 2D Edit. And that's going to pop up this option box here. It's going to ask us to select which composition we want to work with. By default, it should select the one you have open. And that's what it's done here. The comp width right now is 1920, which that's just for the preview width that we're going to be looking at this through. And for most footage, including 4K footage, the comp width here of 1920 will be fine. So you can pretty much leave all these at default. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Add 2D Edit. As you can see, now we can see a preview of our 360 video. And that's really what's going to be 1920 is just this little preview window. So it doesn't really apply to our entire 360 video footage. So I'm going to hit C on the keyboard here. And you can see I can look around now with the camera tool around the 360 video. So it's a good way to quickly preview your 360 shot if you need to. And now wherever you want to add in your text, just go ahead and position your camera looking in that direction. So in this case, I'll just face toward these buildings here. And to add in the text, it's as simple as just selecting the text tool and just clicking and typing in your text. Now I'm just going to select the pointer tool. Now I can just go ahead and move the text anywhere on the screen that I want it to be. So I'll just put it up here in the sky. And I'm going to adjust the spacing here on that text just a little bit. And now this is where the viewer is going to see that text whenever they view back the 360 video. And in order for us to preview that, we just need to open up the output render here. So I'm going to select that. And now we can see this is our e rectangular footage. And now we can see the text is applied there. And it has been scaled correctly for the 360 video. That way when it's played back, it'll look flat. And you can see that we are viewing this in the 360 footage Skybox V2 output composition. And that's going to be the composition that we want to render in the end when we're finished with our video. And if we need to, we can always go back and edit that text. So I can just come back up here and select Edit 1. And it'll open back up that composition. You always want to go in between each one of these by selecting the buttons in the UI interface here of Skybox Composer. And you can select Edit 1 or the output render or any other edits you have. So let's say I want to do a quick adjustment on this text. So I'm just going to select my text. Might change the color of it here. And now if I want to go ahead and preview this, I can just go ahead and open back up the output render. And now we can see that text has been updated with the new color. Now conversely, we can go ahead and add in another edit. In this case, I want to actually do a 3D edit. So I'm going to click Add 3D Edit. And that's going to open up the 3D Edit options here. And again, we want to select the same composition we did before. And we can go ahead and leave the comp width at the default 1920 in this case. And if you are going to use any 3D plugins, you can turn on that you will be using 3D plugins. We can go ahead and select Add 3D Edit. And now we're going to go ahead and get that same viewport where we can hit C on the keyboard to bring up the camera orbit tool and we can navigate around. Now the first thing you're going to notice here is that our text has disappeared. And that's because Skybox Composer treats each of these edits independently and it combines them all in the output render. So right now we won't be able to see that text that we added in on edit 1. So what I want to do now is I actually want to add in a picture and I want to kind of make it look like it's on this wall back here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and drag in my logo. I've got a metal logo here. I'll drag it in. And now we can see the logo, but I actually want to make it 3D and rotate it so it looks like it's actually on this brick wall back here. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to go ahead and check the logo as 3D. And when I do that, you're going to notice that it disappears. And what it's done, if I go ahead and hit the C key to orbit back around here, the logo is in the scene, but now it's 3D and it's moved back to the center of the scene. So what I need to do is actually move this back toward the wall. So I'm just going to select the selection tool. I'm just going to pull this on the z-axis toward the camera. And actually where it passes through it. So now it's on the other side. So I'll just hit C again and turn around. And now we can see the logo on the other side. And now I can go ahead and rotate this using the rotation tool here. I can also adjust the scale options. And scale this where it looks like it's actually on the brick wall down there. All right, now that I've got that logo rotated in a position that I like, I can go ahead and select Open Output Render. 
And now we can see on the output that the logo is masked to that brick wall back here. If I zoom in here, it's split because it's actually on the back half of the 360 video. And you can see it's distorted properly so that it maps onto the brick wall. So I can go ahead and look at the other side over here. There's the other half of the logo. And that's how easy it is to add in 3D text or a 3D image onto your footage. And now if we want to go ahead and render this out, I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the render queue here. And I'm just going to select the Skybox version 2 output composition that's created. And I'll just drag that down here. And I'm just going to do some very simple settings here. I'm going to go to Custom. And I'm going to render this out as a QuickTime file. And I like to do Photo JPEG at 95% quality on this. And make sure audio is on. Click OK. And now we can just go ahead and name our file and click Render. And that'll render out the final output here of your 360 video with your edits applied to it. Now I want to quickly highlight a few other options you have with the 3D edit. You can also add in 3D graphics from plugins like Metal Freeform Pro, Element 3D, or Particular. You can also track your 360 footage and perform stabilization on it if needed. If you'd like to know more about these options, make sure you check out the in-depth tutorials on Metal.com, where you can also download a free trial of any of the Metal plugins, including Skybox Studio version 2. Lots of 360 pioneers are already using Skybox Studio version 2 to create some amazing work. We're looking forward to seeing what you can create as well. This has been Charles Jager for Metal. Thanks for watching.